Hi, I'm Poonam Chitale. I'm a product manager at NVIDIA and uh, I have Will here. Hey Poonam, nice to chat again. Uh, yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, super excited about Nemo and uh, I'm excited to share that with, uh, with the audience as well. Today I'd like to talk about NVIDIA Nemo Toolkit, which is built for conversational AI. And particularly, I want to talk about our partnership with PyTorch Lightning. So why do you need Nemo? So Nemo is a toolkit for building state-of-the-art conversational AI models. Conversational AI models are really big. Um, they are, you know, they have a lot of data. They're trained on a lot of data. They have a lot of hyperparameters. They are complex architectures. And there are three basic things. There is an automatic speech recognition pipeline. There is natural language processing. And then there is text-to-speech. Nemo is a higher level framework that is based on PyTorch and PyTorch Lightning. It helps people build these conversational AI models quickly and easily. State-of-the-art models need accuracy across the conversational AI pipeline. So when you think about how conversations go, how audio is transcribed, then the text is punctuated, then the punctuated text transforms back into audio this whole pipeline is multiple DNNs, and all these multiple DNNs need to be highly accurate, and also they need to be trained in such a way um, that they work for the data that users have. So again, um, Nemo is a toolkit for building state-of-the-art conversational AI models. When you're working with Nemo, it's, uh, you're working with modules. So Nemo starts for, stands for neural modules. And think about modules as uh, Lego building blocks. So essentially you um, divide a comp DNN into its essential components like data loaders and um, encoders, decoders, and then all of them sort of fit together um, to bring up the model, the DNN, the actual model that you're gonna use. And once you are satisfied with your experimentation um, using some of the modules that we have provided in the toolkit, um, you build it together and then you train this model or fine tune it, go through this evaluation cycle and uh, until it is ready to deploy into the Jarvis platform. So what can we do with Nemo? As I mentioned, you can quickly develop conversational AI models. The highlight of this release is PyTorch Lightning. So, um, you know, building conversational AI models is a hard task, we all know that. PyTorch Lightning makes it really easy for us to train these models. So here you have a, you can see a very simple example of how we use the trainer module. The way that we have built Nemo is every Nemo model is actually a PyTorch Lightning module. The PyTorch Lightning provides that capability of, um, you know, mixed precision, using mixed precision training, and also scaling for multiple GPUs and nodes. Uh, I'd love to know why you guys decided to use Lightning. Um, well, I think, so what happened was, you know, we were focused on conversational AI. And, um, you know, we are building all these modules, um, building, you know, putting this toolkit together um, with all the speech recognition and NLP and uh, speech synthesis modules. Um, but there is a core portion, which is the actual trainer, you know, the training API. And, um, you know, we, we were having trouble keeping up with the, you know, all the latest enhancements and, you know, because we were focused on conversational AI, not the core training part of the, of the toolkit. And, um, you know, that's when we came across PyTorch Lightning and um, we saw how it was organized and uh, you know the kind of um, researchers and customers that we are working with, um, they are really a big fan of simplicity. And the Nemo toolkit was built for that. It's like, okay, you have all these modules, you can do your fast experimentation, and you can um, you know modify model architectures and uh, you know build your own model. Um, but then you know we don't want them to worry about all these um, core deep learning you know training uh, practices. Uh, like how do you make use of um, multi-node training, for example, or how do you um, do this mixed precision training? And so what we thought is, you know, we saw the philosophy of PyTorch Lightning and we saw that it really aligns with 
how we want to um, you know bring this toolkit out it is a perfect thing for us um, the, uh, to be built you know using PyTorch Lightning so we take it as a dependency so our toolkit um, makes PyTorch Lightning kind of um, the base trading API yeah that's that's what we love we want people to be focused on you know developing really cool frameworks like this and pushing a state of the art uh, without getting caught up in the engineering details so it's great so this example is of our ASR model. ASR stands for automatic speech recognition. So here, when customers are using this model, when they are um, using it for their own data, you know, they have the ability to change vocabulary. So Quartznet is a model that reads character by character, and it works with a technique called CTC loss, which is, you know, it doesn't need the timing information of how um, a speech is spoken. So this model, we have set up the vocabulary, we have set up the optimization and the training and validation data. And now all you need is just, you need to call this um, uh, trainer from PyTorch Lightning and trainer.fit and that's it. So a few lines of code um, and you can train the state of the art models like Quartznet, there's also BERT training, there's Tacotron 2. There are many examples in the Nemo repository. Uh, yeah, this is really cool. So what would a user, you know, a downstream user, like, what would they want to use this to solve? What kind of problems? Typically, you want to build um, AI models that work to translate, you know, audio waves into text format. So essentially transcribing um, audio. So there might be, you know, several different use cases, like call centers, or even like, um, needing summarizations, you know, like there's also another example of like, once you have this audio transcribed into text, you know, that text needs to be punctuated. That needs to be like, um, you know, more readable, more understandable. Um, and so there we make use of NLP and these NLP models are also available in uh, Nemo. So as I mentioned before, um, and we'll see an example of this. So we have the concept of a Nemo model. We have a whole bunch of pre-trained models that we provide. These pre-trained models are trained on um, publicly available data sets, and we take a lot of effort finding you know, good quality data sets so that we can train these models. They are trained on thousands of hours of data. Because we um, use the PyTorch Lightning Trainer API, um, we actually make it really easy for someone to grab this pre-trained model from our um, NGC website and then retrain it with their own data. So here you can see how easy it is to, um, you know, simply specify the AMP level, making sure that you're using um, mixed precision so that you can take, make, take advantage of the tensor cores in NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, you're using two GPUs in this case and two nodes. So that's really, um, I find like that's the biggest advantage um, that PyTorch Lightning provides because it's so easy to um, you know, scale the training. Um, scaling the training is just adding a different parameter in this uh, training API. And typically these conversational AI models are, um, you know, I mentioned already that they're very large. They also use a um, large amount of hyperparameters. Um, and this kind of uh, distributed backend, this kind of you know, um, easy to use API is something that's very important. It's almost essential um, in Nemo. Uh, so this Quartznet model that I just showed, um, the base model, if you were to uh, train from scratch, um, it will take something like 12 hours um, to train. Um, but if you instantiate from, you know, if you start from one of our pre-trained models, you can fine tune with your own data in, uh, in an hour, um, you know, or two, depending on how much data it is, because the base model is trained on like 6,000 hours of public data. Um, and your fine tuning data could be anywhere between 100 hours to uh, 1,000 hours even. Um, but you, know, you will reduce the training time significantly if you start from one of our base models. And this is using what, one GPU or four GPUs? Four GPUs. So um, in the Nemo toolkit, we also um, make use of the Hydra framework for um, configuration management. So here you see an example of the config file and you, know, you can clearly see how complex these models are. 
how complex um, their configuration is because you have to recognize the you know all of the labels in the alphabet um, and you know don't even ask me about other languages that um, you know we are working on supporting um, all of them have their own sort of uh, vocabulary yeah I mean first I'd love to know how many languages you guys support as well um, so right now we support English and Mandarin Chinese um, so those are the two languages we support in Nemo, but we do have plans to support more languages. Um, I know that uh, people who are uh, using Nemo, they have already um, fine-tuned on Spanish data set, Russian data set, and um, you know, multiple other languages, and we are working on productizing that. So this page here is showing our GitHub repository, um, and it's also showing our um, NGC container and pre-trained models repository. So Nemo is downloadable, pip installable from GitHub, um, and it's also provided as a Docker container, and all the pre-trained models are available on NGC. So on the GitHub repository, you can scroll down and see um, we have just added a lot of tutorials. So these tutorials, um, you know, help you understand some of these uh, use cases. Like here is a simple application with Nemo. Then there is a fundamental. So this tutorial kind of explains the concepts, um, you know, and how Nemo is organized. So here, this is an example uh, of a voice swap application. So this notebook actually is an end-to-end -end notebook. So what it's going to do is, um, you know, it uses an ASR model to recognize what is being said. So converting audio to text. Then it adds a bit of punctuation and capitalization to the text. Then it generates the spectrogram from the resulting text and then generates the audio back from the text. So first, what you got to do is uh, install Nemo. And the installation is just accomplished by a pip install command. So once you have installed it and you have all the dependencies, import these collections. So Nemo is organized as three different collections. There's ASR, NLP, and TTS. For this demo, we need all three collections because we are going to use um, audio to text. Then we are going to punctuate that text and capitalize and then we are going to uh, transform this text back into audio. So now let's download an audio sample. Um, this is a really simple um, data set and the sample that we are going to use in this example. And it's purposely small. So let's go ahead and listen to this audio. So this audio is just uh, somebody saying, you know, um, a sentence. Well, I don't wish to see it anymore, observed Phoebe, turning away her eyes. It is certainly very like the old portrait. Now we are going to convert this into text. So what we will do is instantiate one of our pre-trained Nemo models. So let's go ahead and instantiate it. All right, so now we have instantiated the models. Now let's use these models. Um, and you know, just for simplicity, we instantiated all the models that we're going to use for this demo. So now we're going to convert this audio sample to text. Here is the raw text. And you can see how all of this text is lowercase, just plain, you know, raw text, and everything is just lowercase. We should also add this uh, helper function, which kind of combines uh, Tacotron 2 and WaveGlow to uh, directly uh, transcribe text to audio. So let's do this intermediate text, uh, intermediate step. And now we're ready for the results. So if you remember, this is our original audio sample. Well, I don't wish to see it anymore, observed Phoebe, turning away her eyes. It is certainly very like the old portrait. Okay, now let's see what the ASR model was able to transcribe. You know, this is the way the transcription works. Now, let's see how this punctuation model that we applied changed it. And see how you can see all this transcription has been punctuated. 
So there's a comma, you know, there's capitalization. Now let's see how the synthesized audio sounds. So now this audio is uh, synthesized from this text without punctuation and with punctuation. So let's see how it sounds without punctuation. There we go. Well, I don't wish to see any more observe Cootie turning away her eyes. It is certainly very like the old portrait. So you can see how this is the synthesized voice from the text and it is not punctuated. Now let's see how it works with punctuation. Well, I don't wish to see it any more observed for you, turning away her eyes. It is certainly very like the old portrait. And uh, that's the end of the demo. So, and these notebooks are really great for prototyping and for experimentation. Um, but if you want to deploy, then you should use a service like in, uh, Jarvis, you know, that optimizes uh, all of the APIs for uh, production and deployment. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah, incredible job uh, to the Nemo team and, and to you, of course. And I think this will be super useful for obviously a lot of companies. Um, I personally worked on kind of like chat systems to help people figure out, you know, how to pay for college a while back. And this would definitely have been super useful back then, so. <laughs> yeah, I know, and, and thanks to you guys. Um, because we partner with PyTorch Lightning, you know, we, um, we are able to focus on the conversational AI aspect of Nemo, which is the modules that you can quickly, you know, build and compose and things like that. And we are very fortunate to have your um, support. Um, you know, our team definitely appreciates uh, all the help provided by uh, PyTorch Lightning.